Hey everyone, it's Lacey. Welcome back to Paws and Paper. So today I thought we would play around. I have been doing some collaging. So I made this one here. And what I started with was I was trying to figure out my helper here is... Thank you, Stitch. I had these big atlas pages. I'm like, what am I going to do with these? Um... So I had a whole bunch of these, and they're real big sheets. So I'm like, what can I do with these? So I decided I could make a big collage master board out of them. So you'll see that the back is not decorated, but I figured once we made these, we could either use this as a journal cover and just fold it in half. That would make a cute journal cover. Or we could just cut it up, make some tags, or journaling cards or whatever. So we're gonna make one of these collage master boards today. So to start, I am gonna just take one of these big old atlas pages and we're gonna start gluing. So I am going to use some of my oh, old book pages here going to kind of try to stick with the neutral colors. A lot of the um, collaging on this one is just in the neutral book pages. Some of the darker ones, some of the lighter ones, but that's what I'm going to attempt to do. So let's just start gluing. And we'll just see what happens. So today, here, it is just so hot outside. I'm like, I am not going outside today. We uh, went to a couple 4th of July fireworks um, shows, which was nice. They were really cool, except it was pretty hot out. So I hope wherever you are watching from today that it's not super miserable out. And if it is, come inside and play with your papers. I'd probably rather do that anyway. So this is just kind of fun. This is all a random. You just kind of stick stuff down. This is one of those projects where you can't do it wrong. If you glue something down, you don't like it, you just glue right on top of it. So I'm just trying to build a base here. And my text goes different ways. I'm just trying to get a, a good coverage. And then we'll start layering stuff on top really that's all collage is it's just throw some stuff down uh oh hey if you rip it no big deal it still works alrighty there we go so we're getting a good coverage here um, let's get a little something up in the corner. What do we want? Some dictionary page. Looks good. I guess I probably should look at the words first. Too late now. We've already glued this side. Let's hope there's nothing on the back side. Let's see, what do we got? Showery. Okay. Shroud, shrub, shrub. We're good. I think we're safe on those words. You always hate when you glue dictionary page down. You're like, oh my, what word did I just put in there? Okay, so now let's start filling in maybe some of these little, these little sections. And let's just... Do the good old T 
chair method. How much of that? Maybe I'll take down some of that. Just try to get more of the text in there. That looks good. Looks good, and if these little piece, pieces stick up like that, I mean, you can always uh, go back in and lay your flaps down. We're going to be gluing stuff over top of it, too, so it's going to help seal that down because this one's loose, but we'll come back to that. And maybe, which way do we want to go? that way so yeah like I said we went to a couple fireworks shows um, the last couple days don't know if that's a thing wherever you guys are watching from but definitely here in Ohio where I'm from it is a good Thing to go watch. I mean, they have tons of them everywhere. My kids really enjoy them too. So we spend a lot of time swimming, being outside. So that's why I said today we are staying in the house, which is fine by me because then I get to play with my papers, which is way more fun. Okay, Doug, we got a couple more. Let's see. This is really neat paper. It's that real neat feel. The old stuff that pretty much just, yeah, like it just tears. Like there's nothing to it. But I kind of like it. It's that really neat, neat feeling paper. Tears like tissue paper, though. Alrighty, do we want the words? Let's get the words in there. And see, like I said, you can't really, can't really mess this up. Am I even in? There we go. Can you see a little better? You can't really mess it up. It's just kind of fun to play. That's pretty much all I do is play with the papers because this is just... A little hobby I don't do this to make money this is just my just my fun time outside of my normal my normal job but this is way more fun all right what do we got um too clean there we go okay get this one down and then we got our base Looks like we're all pretty covered. And then we'll start adding some pretty little bits and pieces. Alrighty. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And we'll just go around and then we'll just trim off all those edges at the end. Alright, so I think we got a pretty good base. And now I have a couple pieces here. Like this one just had some uh, handwriting on it. So I think I'm going to just kind of make one of these. I want this to be kind of like a focal piece in there somewhere. Um, got some uh, ledger here. Kind of wanted to get some of that handwriting in there. And you could cut this if you wanted to. I'm just going to go for the whole tear collage look. Try to get that text in there because it's had really neat handwriting. It's kind of pretty. Let's see, do we want to? I think we want to. We want to ink. Let me get out my inks. We're going to go with good old vintage photo here. And let's just add a little bit more distress look to this. 
I didn't do it to my bottom layer. I kind of leave that neutral, but as I add more layers, to get a little more dimension, make it stand out a little bit more. I like to ink the top pages. See, it kind of just makes it stand out a little bit better. Plus, I just, I like the way the ink looks, and you don't have to ink at all. There's no saying you must ink. That's the one thing. There's so many people, so many varieties of stuff everybody has. their creative ideas, and it's like, take what you want and run with it. So, what else we got? Um, got a couple pieces. Oh, I had some, uh, the dictionary page with, um, these, the little pictures on it. I kind of like that, using some of the, um, dictionary page with the pictures. So what do I have over here? Oh, I got a mess is what I got. Um, let me see. Is this one? What is this picture? I don't even know what that is. That's a fungus of some kind. A genus of zoophytes of the class polyzoa that live in colonies. I have no idea what that is, but it looks like some weird mushroom coral thing. Okay, let's go with it. Whatever, right? You can learn as you journal. Did you ever think you'd be using the dictionary page to use in your journals? Does anybody even look in a dictionary anymore? I mean, seriously. What do we do now? We just... Hey, Google. <laughs> right? There's no such thing as searching through the dictionary. <laughs> uh, I had it in my mind one time I was going to read the dictionary and learn every word in there just because I'm kind of a... A nerd like that back in the day you know and I'm like oh yeah I've got these great ideas I could be so smart okay so we got a couple centerpieces what else we got what else we got I had another picture in here somewhere where to go where to go where to go don't you hate when you lose stuff here we go this one I have no idea what this is I'm um, supposed site of Miletus. Don't know. Looks pretty cool though. Let's use that. And so let's just get out this picture here. Some of those edges down. So I just like to have a couple. I like the black and white pictures and stuff just to kind of throw in there, um, adds a little bit of interest here and there, maybe something like that, should we go, I feel like I need something, something there, what can I put there, what do we got, do we got dimensions, blockchain sprocket diameters, ooh, that's a, that's interesting, everybody will be like, what is that? Number of teeth, eh, pitch diameter, the things you can learn. I, like I said, I have no idea what some of this stuff is. I believe this is from like an auto mechanics book. It's kind of cool, all these pages you get that you think are kind of boring, like nobody really cares about auto mechanics sprocket diameter whatever this said it was I don't even know what it said it was anymore but in the junk journaling world that stuff's really cool so I'm going to ink up some of these top pieces here this is just the fun part if you're in the mood to just kind of play ink up pages this is a good project. I really enjoy doing these. So 
So let's just get these down. And see what we have going on. How much more stuff we want to add to it. So I hope everybody's having a great day today. And I hope you uh, have some time to play with your papers. Some days, you know, I I get hooked on watching YouTube videos. I'm like, I really should go try that. I gotta force myself to like walk away, be like, yes, go down and play. Don't just watch. So that's my advice today. Don't just watch. Go play. Or play and watch. I always plug in my phone right next to me and I watch as I craft. So I'm listening and watching to other people. That way I don't just feel like I'm alone. You know? You don't feel like you're alone when you're crafting. Okay, so this is what we got so far. How about I feel like we need something I have these pretty, these are just um, the 12 by 12 scrapbook papers. Thought about adding these in maybe we'll see how this goes um let's kind of try I'm not too keen on the fussy cutting but let's see how that looks let's just see let's just see shall we the thing is is if you don't like it just don't go with it Trial and error. Um, let's just go, let's just cut it off there. Alrighty. Is this too big now? So can we, I feel like it's too, too big, too big, too big. Kind of covers up everything. So the other thing is, is if you plan on using this as a cover, you might want to fold to see where your cover would be and then that way you're not having it right at the edge and it won't pop up on you but maybe if we get it about right there that could look kind of cool if we did it and that's saying if we use this as a cover but if you're going to make tags and stuff out of it this piece might not work as well but I kind of like it that way. What do you think? What do you think? Look good? Maybe we should try that? Okay. Let's, let's, let's just go with it. All right. It's only paper and I have so much of it. Isn't that crazy how we amass paper? Tell me I am not the only one that amasses paper. You know, I have so many of these paper packs and they're just so pretty. You go like, I have to have this one. And you get it. And then you get another one. And you still have 50 sheets of the other one. And you're like, am I ever going to use all this paper? The answer is probably no. But they're just so pretty. You have to have them. Alright, so let's get this piece down. I want to kind of try to not cover up those words. Alrighty, that looks good. Alright, and now like I said, I since I folded it and said, okay, we might use this collage sheet as a cover, that's why I did it this way. But if you're going to use tags, you might not want such a defined piece like that. So it kind of just depends on what you think you're going to use your collage sheets for um, in order for you to then determine where you want to lay your things out on. Okay, so we have this. And I may, 
I think I might on this one. I didn't on the other one. I may sew around some of this stuff just because. All right, so let's add some of these. This is kind of pretty. I don't know if you can see. It's a real gold pink kind of sparkly butterflies, and it's got some of that salmon pink color there. So let's just see if we can just, I'm going to do the good old tear method on this one and make sure I get one of those butterflies in there at least. And we're going to use these as just some accent pieces just to add a little color. And the gold is pretty and these are really cool too you make these collage sheets and if you wanted to you scan them in and uh, then you end up with once you scan them in you can print them and you can make a whole bunch of stuff with them because you know you make these sheets and you're like I spent all this time making this sheet and I can only use it once if you scan them in, you can print them, and then you can use them all the time. Okay, so what do we got here so far? That's looking kind of cute, right? Just a little collage sheet. Maybe, what can we add up here? Do we need something up here? Hold on one. Okay, and we're back. Sorry, technical difficulties with everyone else in the house here. Um, I feel like I need something up here. So I found this, some more hit, handwritten ledger. Let's just, let's just go down here. Um, what does this say? March? 13th, 1876. I believe you want to go there, don't you? Yes, you do. Okay, let's see what you look like. How far we want to go? I think we have way more than we need. Um, yeah, we're going to too much. So what do I want to do here? Let's just take it off here. Let's see what we got. Ink it up. Is anybody else impressed with the handwriting? You know, from way back when everybody wrote in cursive and now it's like becoming a lost art form, actually. You don't see much cursive writing anymore. I think that's why everybody likes it. It's so neat looking. Okay, that looks good. All right, let's glue this baby down. There you go. You look like you belong there now. Okay, so now what do we got? If we would fold, that would be... And if we use this as a book cover, this is way bigger than a normal, like, 8.5 by 11 size sheet of paper. So you'd have, let's see... That one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like ten and a half. So you would have to cut it down just a little here. So we might lose some of this, which is fine. It's not a big deal. So if you really don't want something to be cut off, make sure you stay in further. Because these atlas pages are pretty big. So it just depends on what you're collaging on. So what do we got here? We got a little piece of something. Where does this little piece of something want to go? Um, let's see, maybe 
this little piece of something. Let's ink this guy up. Maybe you want to go there, or do you want to go down here? Um, I think you want to go down there. Let's find you a butterfly friend. Let's see. Let's ink this up. See if we can work with the straight edge without having to tear it. Um, so if we put you kind of cover, that might work. Okay. Well, let's just glue it down. Glue. You're going on the wrong side of the paper. I want to glue this side. My glue is out of control. Okay. Let's put you there. Oh man, glue everywhere. The hazards of crafting. You got glue everywhere. Okay. Now what do we got? We got this so far, so I think we need some color up here. What do we got? Can we... Let's do some of this stuff. Maybe I want to overhang it and then we'll cut it. Yeah, just to... Let's do that. Pop that up there, and then we'll end up just cutting off some of that, which is good. Making a mess here. Alrighty, what we got? We got this little piece. Scrap. Um like you need to go where do you need to go you go over there sure you do you belong there um, how about like that okay Looks pretty good. Still don't know. Do we want to use this? I'm debating. I'm not sold. Not sold on you, you little piece. Um, what else do I have? What else? What else? What else? Oh, what's this thing? Um, let's just take you. Don't know what you are. You're on my piece of ledger, but you're kind of cool. Form A, National Number 7048, Form A. Now we're official. We are officially authorized Form A. Now I feel like we're doing taxes. Oh, goodness. I still keep bringing you in here. Why are you still here? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Decisions, decisions. If you think about it too long, you should just do it. Just, just, just do it. All right? Quit fussing. Just do it. That's what I say. If you fuss about it too long, and your brain starts to worry. Don't fuss. Just do it. Okay. Let's give this a little trim just to see what we've got. Trim off the excess and see what our collage looks like so far.
But yeah, this is a good way to use up these big atlas pages. I don't know if anybody else has gotten these books, but I've had these books since I was a kid, I believe, and I'm like, what am I ever going to do with these things? Now I know. They make excellent collage boards. Okay, we got a little bit here. Good enough. Good enough. All right, let's get some of this out of the way. Okay. Well, and here's what we got so far. Well, I think it looks pretty good. I kind of like that. So, yeah, I think we're going to call that done. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably scan this in. And then that way, if I want to use it as a book cover or a cover for a journal, I can. Or if I want to cut it up into tags, I can. But yeah, so there's that one, and this is another variation of one I did, so I think they turned out pretty cool. So yeah, give it a try, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.